Hello and welcome to How To LMMS. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your MIDI devices or controllers with LMMS. So the first thing you want to do is before you open up LMMS you want to have your devices plugged in to your computer. So I've got a USB MIDI device, the Akai MPK Mini, which I'm going to be demonstrating with. And I've plugged that via USB into my computer. You want to do that before you've opened up LMMS. So after you've plugged in your device and opened up the program, you're either going to want to connect your controls uh, to the controls on LMS, or you're going to want to be able to play notes on your keyboard. I'm going to load up a different preset than the default triple oscillator preset just to make it a little bit nicer. So to connect the instrument to your device, you can either click the cog here, go down to MIDI, input, and your device should show up. And there you go. Or you want to click on the instrument itself and go into this button here which is where MIDI is. You can enable MIDI input or output uh, and it's the same thing but you can also change what channel is being input. Now if you want to connect controls to your MIDI device such as moving this knob to control this volume knob then you want to right click connect to controller select MIDI controller which will already be selected make sure you have auto detect enabled and that your device is ticked and then when you move the knob it should automatically register which control you're moving you can see when I'm moving it up the volume knob over here moves and that stays in that position. Uh, now to record MIDI you want to go into the piano roll make sure you click record and have a metronome set if you want. You could have it set to a lower quantize to begin with so that when you record in the notes will align themselves to the grid automatically And there you go, you have your recording. If you want to record your controls that you've connected your MIDI device to, then simply use an automation track, drag the control that you've connected your MIDI device to into the automation track, make it larger, go into the cog on the automation track, turn recording on, you'll see the little recording symbol pop up here then when you play and move your control you can see that the automation track is being recorded now when you stop recording click return recording off and now you have several set points to the quantize that it was set at you can set it to a higher quantize um, and you can also change the mode between so that it will create a nice curve. So to disconnect your controllers from your MIDI device you right click remove connection down here or you can also edit connection so that you can change the control. If you want to disconnect it from your MIDI device for playing then simply do exactly the same as before and uncheck it. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of how this can be useful uh, to be able to re record live MIDI. So I'm going to record in. So now I can drag this into the automation track, turn recording on, and it's this control, isn't it? Yeah.
and then turn the recording off make it smoother and create a zero point change the tension one thing you've got to look out for is that you will need to remove the connection from your MIDI before you click play because otherwise it won't work but now I'll have a fade in so I think now I'll add a second automation track uh, go into here add a low pass Now I'm going to connect this to my MIDI controller using this knob again. Click OK. As you can see, when I move it, it moves. Now I'm also going to connect it to an automation track. I'm going to turn recording on. And now when we play it, I think I'll start it at full. this I'm recording make sure that the controls are no longer connected to my MIDI device and then so you can see that and if I do that it'll be even smoother So lots of cool uh, effects that you can do live using the controllers. Um, this can also be done manually without the use of a MIDI device. It's not necessary, but if you have a MIDI device and you work better playing live and controlling things with your hands, uh, this is how to do it in the LMS. So hopefully this has helped you. There are more advanced techniques um, and things involving output of MIDI that I don't use myself um, but that's the basics of MIDI so uh, comment below if there's anything I missed or anything that's not quite clear I'll try and clear it up as much as possible thanks for watching see you in the next video